Right, hello guys, it's the Ed Set here. Now, uh, before we go any further, would you like to uh, click that little like button, that little subscribe button, and that little alarm bell so you'll get notifications when we upload videos? And uh, we are always uploading videos when we're not on holiday. Um, so, in which case, you know, we'll get some more videos on. Now, this is painted red. This is the Homemade uh, Express, painted red. This is painted red, that's all painted red. Uh, we've got a few bits of sealer to do, but other than that, that's all looking, looking pretty chunky dory. A bit of us who runs there, but that's okay. This is all done, so this is ready. Now, Lee's cleaning up the springs. Boy. Um, we found one seal for low ball joint, which is going to go into there because that ball joint was gone. But this one feels nice, tight, and with a bit of grease in him, I reckon he'll, be, he'll go again. So that's it. These were getting painted up, which is the splash shields, because obviously we want to use those because I need those lugs there for the things. We're going to use the original springs. We have got a new set of springs, but I'm going to put them in the Mark 1. Oh, front beam, front beam's in, front beam, other wishbones down, top and bottom. And I've done them with ordinary rubbers at the bottom and polypropylene at the top, as you know. They're cleaned up, that's cleaned up, this is all ready. So really, the next job is going to be getting this thing assembled back in and then I can get it down its wheels. We can make a start on... Oh, that's not true though, is it? I'm lying, aren't I? We've got to seal all the joints next. And then we're going to spray inside there with stone chip. So that's it. That was what we're going to do. That was our plan, wasn't it, stone chip? Now, this has got brand new discs on there, but they are obviously not, it's not wire wheels. And I was going to do wire wheels onto it. So for the minute, that might not happen. It may not get wire wheels. It might go on the steel wheels with chrome hubcaps and chrome trim rings. What do you think? So it's down so easy to keep clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and uh, obviously in the great scheme of things, we are getting a little bit of resistance to my colour change choice. But I, I like the idea of painting it green. <laughs> I don't want to put it back grey. It's just such a boring colour, isn't it? It's, I'd like to paint it. I'm blue, no, I can't paint that colour. Kind of, no. We've already got a blue one. Uh, we've got to get onto the filler and on the doors, which is another big job. So, for the minute, this all hopefully is going to get painted. I'm going to go and look at a shed. Just to look at a shed, not actually a shed, but look at a shed. And, um, and by shed, he means a shed, not actually a car. No, but, but yeah, shed. yeah. Oh no, we were took it. I went and looked at some sheds yesterday, so there may well be arrivals of some new sheds. We've got. A, we might have a, another little, a little shed arriving, might we? Another project, another shed project. So, three shed projects, all of which are quite interesting. I don't know. I know. I know. I hinted. I bought all the grinding discs, and I actually had. Uh, look, you can see it down there, like a whole gallon of rust converter. I was hoping if I tipped it over the roof of the car, it would convert it back to steel. But I'm beginning to realise it doesn't. No, it told me it. it says on the tin it converts rust to bloody metal and it, you can paint straight over it so I painted it all over the rusty car and uh, there were still all holes in it so I didn't quite understand that but anyway we've got to get this obviously so we can get the wheels back on it and we need to get the wheels back on it and then obviously we can do once the wheels are on it there will be an issue then that we can then decide an engine a gearbox and anything else yes but obviously I know what everybody said I didn't want another big dead turd I promised I wasn't going to do when I didn't obviously she's not moved at all the old girl um, she has moved the, uh, the, the, it's all ready to move but I just need an empty shed don't I oh it's just there's not enough room to swing a cat in this place obviously yeah, there isn't enough room is there no. no if we could get one of them cats okay. yeah. I like a cat. I miss the cat, mate. Yeah, I've got loads. Do you know I bought a load of cat food for Felix? And then I think he got run over down the road there by the van seller, somebody said. So, 
so I'm going to maybe have to get a cat so if you know anybody who's got a cat <laughs> I'm after one um, we need a works cat maybe to catch that bloody great rat that lives down under there which is annoying but anyway so yeah at the moment it's this I know I slumped on the roof and if you look up there the roof's even worse now on this side and it's, it was, it's really getting bad so there is going to have to be and if the weather's going to be nice this is one of the reasons why this lot out I'm going to try and get some help um, and, and then in theory we're going to try and get everything and then just do the roof sheets just don't try and just do some of it I've just got to get it before the winter because if I don't then I just I might as well just I might as well have a fire sale and sell everything won't I say like let's just get rid of a few let's let's get rid of something I don't want to get rid of anything but I do I've got to do this engine and the engine is and I will tell you this for nothing the engine is covered in oil and grease it's about an inch thick that stuff so I'm seeing it, it won't come off with the power washer at the garage so I'm seriously tempted to see whether I can get an industrial see over my mate Bosch's lorries take it over there and wash it and then if, if I can then that's what I'm going to do so and I was had all these wonderful dreams of two inch carbs and stuff and Lee what did we talk about engines a minute ago you were using my welding wire triple carb racing yes triple carb we've got a 3A engine with triple carbs haven't we that runs I need to distribute it out of it I put it in Run. the I put it in the 420G uh, yeah so anyway I can put it back in because I don't like it anyway so yeah in theory and I know this is going to sound quite you know sort of uh, difficult but um, we need an engine and I don't I just got to put the original engine I think I'm going to have to do that 3.8 engine but of course, as you're probably well aware, it's very hard to rebuild an engine when you've got grit, gravel, dust, metal filings, and all the other assorted crap that's in this shed. And if we do this paintwork on, on this car and that one next door, we've got to keep the dust out of here. So I'm going to turn the shed over there, hopefully, into my spray shop. Or maybe outside. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. But anyway, I mean... <laughs> It's looking good that's looking good she's looking good I just want to get her out and do a few more jobs on her and I want to do the back brakes on my Aston Martin because if I don't talk the brakes out on that I can't drive it and uh, basically that means this suspension has got to go in this car which is why Lee is actively there look getting the metal care paint out Art Deco quality product I actually missed a few bits on that front B you could have a down I think in the bottom of the thing but anyway so yeah so for the minute guys it's another wreck coming together I love it when a wreck comes together but you know I think she, this one's not so bad and I think the eagle eyed people have spotted that the outriggers are missing yeah they are but they're inside ready to fit but I can't fit them because if I take that off the car's back heavy which means it's going to do the cartwheel and fall off the ramp so that's had to stay where it is uh, but other than that everything else is great it's all good here in the hood isn't it yeah it's all good we've got we're get making some room we're gonna we've got some new content coming we hope we got quite a lot of content to catch up with because how many old, how many weeks were you on all day seemed like months it's not, it was two weeks at least. He says one week, but I think that's a lie. I, I know that's a lie. It was two weeks. Because the van came, I mean, the van came back looking like some old faulty towers. Must really do it again when it's healthy. Look at the poor thing over there, look. But yeah, so anyway. Well, we got some new stuff. We might have something a bit unusual coming, so we'll see. We'll see if it comes together. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye for now. Don't remember. Keep kicking that like button and tell your mates. Bye.